Hey, social media family, I hope everybody is having an absolute amazing day. I want to share with you a prophetic dream and word that the Lord gave me early this morning. It was uh, very exciting, very refreshing. And then I want to dive into everything that the Lord has been speaking to this dream, brought huge confirmation, and then add in some prophetic voices that I did a little research and what they were saying and how it all is playing out right now. Very encouraging, very exciting. It's one of those words that I wanna date, December 18th. And so as you can see, it is the Christmas season. Got the stockings, got a little fire, got the Christmas tree and everything. So let, let's get into this, okay? Had an amazing, amazing dream last night and in this dream i just saw a small portal from heaven that was open just being completely enlarged kind of like a veil being ripped away and then all of a sudden there was just an angelic host just coming down out of this portal matthew 16 your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven and then all of a sudden, I just felt the glory of the Lord in this dream. And then I woke up. And when I woke up in the natural, in the tangible, I felt the glory of God. I could feel an angelic host. I felt the power and presence of the Lord. So I, I started praying um, into that. I was so excited. And I felt a freedom. I felt a breakthrough that I have not felt in a long, long time. And so I got up and I just really started praying into this with extreme excitement. A little bit later, I go and I, I pick up my phone and some of my intercessors and some of my prayer partners had already messaged me and they were saying things like, I cannot believe how strong the presence of God is this morning. I cannot believe how much glory is in my house. I woke up this morning, all physical pain is gone. I woke up this morning and I have so much fresh insight from the Lord. And so I was like, wow, God, this is just not me, but there's a lot of other kingdom people that is, is receiving what you're pouring out right now. First thing I wanna talk about is open portals, okay? God is opening up portals from heaven all over the earth. How come the open portals aren't all over every place? Because a lot of people do not want them. A lot of people don't want the fullness of God. They don't want Ephesians 3 and 20 in their life. But for the people that would love to have the fullness of God, they've been crying out to God, asking God to reveal and restore, you are about to receive open portals. Now, something else you got to understand, when open portals open up, you're going to flow in the prophetic like never before. You're going to see healing signs and wonders and miracles. In fact, they will become normal in your services when you have them. A lot of people that you got to understand, if you go to a church, apostolic hub, a ministry center, um, a home group, a prayer group that has an open portal operating, you are going to get fresh insight and revelation from the Lord that is unlike anything that you have ever even experienced. Now, in this dream, I saw angelic hosts coming down one right after another, and they were being dispatched all over the world in different places, and they were coming down fast. They were coming down in, with speed. They were coming down just in this, just accelerated speed to them. And so they were coming prepared and equipped and they were going to release what heaven has for them to release. A lot of you've been praying for angelic help, angelic hosts to come down. You are about to receive them. Ministry is about to become easier. Business is about to flow. You're about to experience. Now, one thing that angels carry that a lot of people don't understand is a stronger anointing. I had a vision uh, a little bit over a year ago about um, an angelic host coming together and pouring oil out over our ministry center. That's going to happen in different places all over America and the nations of the world. This is something that is very powerful and strong. And like I said, 
Get ready for the increase of the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord and the prophetic to start flowing. So after, after I really received this this morning, I go online and I look at different people who have been talking uh, about the prophetic recently. And I start listening to some of the words that they've received over the last week. And some of the prophecies that they have been giving they were talking about open portals are coming. And I said, praise the Lord. And then I heard different people talk about um, just get ready for stronger angelic activity to be around you. And so I said, wow, God, what people are prophesying over the last week or two, we are now already experiencing it. And so get ready for your breakthrough. Whenever portals open up, you will just feel the presence of the Lord. There's been times in my life when I've been ministering in places and I felt just an open portal from God just, just happen. Well, then signs, wonders, and miracles just happen throughout the whole place. The glory of the Lord is about to become so real, so strong, and so tangible in our meetings. People are going to come from miles around to certain churches and revival hubs and ministry centers. And another thing that the Lord spoke to me this morning as I got up and I started praying into this, the Lord said the breakthrough that you have been believing for over the past few years is no longer coming. It is here. Now you have to change your mindset and walk in the I have now received it. Okay? You got to understand this. I have now received it. Walk in it. I know so many people who pray about, oh God, when is this going to happen? When is this prophetic word going to start? And then when it actually happens, they have become so accustomed to believing for it, they're not even ready to receive it. You have to learn how to walk in the now that I have it. I've received it. What am I going to do with it? You know, God never gives you an anointing just to keep it to yourself. It is to pour out upon the body of Christ, to pour out unto the world. And so this is a now season that we are going to operate with a higher degree of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and anointing. A lot of you are anointed for business. A lot of you are anointed with creativity, okay? You have to walk in this higher degree of anointing and steward it. Now, remember what the Bible says. The Bible says that, I'm a, that the Lord is a jealous Lord and he shares his glory with nobody. When you get that increase, when you get that bonus, when you get that promotion, when you launch that business that takes off, remember not to become arrogant because you are operating with a higher anointing from heaven and now everything is about to change. Your life is about to increase. Your marriage is gonna get, get better. Your health is about to get better. Your, your ministry is about to take off. Your business is about to increase. And one reason God does this is because the world will see how you are thriving, you are flourishing, and they're going to be, what's different about you than me? And say, it is the glory of the Lord. It is the years that I have spent in the place of prayer and fasting, believing for this, and now I am going to steward everything that God told me I could steward. This is a season that the prophetic words that you've had from the past are going to come to full fruition and they're going to come to pass and you're going to steward it. Okay. I hope this is where it helped you, blessed you. Um, I always love to offer prayer. You can go to our website, jojodawson.net. If you want prayer, send me a prayer request. I would absolutely love to pray for you. Um, I also want to just thank everybody who is one of our prayer partners, financial partners. Thank you so much for all that you do. And also on that website, we have a lot of books, a lot of resources. We've spent hours in the place of prayer, getting books ready so people can grab a hold of them. Some of our favorite books we have are Moving Forward. My wife and I co-wrote that book together to help people to move forward in the Lord. Another one is Personal Turnaround, to have people to turn their life around and move forward. This is a now season for the body of Christ to move forward in every single thing God has called them to move forward in. Okay, guys, I love you and I believe in you. And that's why I want to partner with you in prayer to see you have your breakthrough. Receive this word. Love you guys.